Hi, everybody. This is Kevin Ross from RadioFacts.com. Have you ever wondered how a magazine cover or a digital magazine cover is created? Canva has created a really simple and easy way to do this. And I've been doing magazine covers for years. And I tell you, I use Adobe and uh, Illustrator and Photoshop. And it's like, it has never been this easy. So I'm actually going to show you a really simple way. You may just want to do it for fun. You may want to put something together for a family or a friend and make them feel special. Or you may want to actually uh, do a magazine cover. Um, and for whatever reason... Um, I'm going to show you how to do that a real easy way. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cre create a design. Always keep in mind that magazine covers are generally eight and a half by 11, but you want to have 0.25 bleed on all sides of the magazine so that uh, if you do decide to print it out and they cut it, they won't cut into anything that is on the cover or inside the magazine itself. Okay. And this is, like I said, it's just for fun. It's not necessarily that you want to do a magazine, but just to show you how it works. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do, I want to change this to inches. Then I'm going to do, instead of 8.5, I'm going to do 8.75. And instead of doing 11, I'm going to do 11.25. Create new design. I actually already had it there. I didn't see that. This is how we start it. Moving a little slow. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to add a logo, which I already have in place. So I'm going to click on my uploads. I actually already have most of the things in place. I just wanted to uh, make it as easy as possible to show you. So that's the first thing is the logo. Keep in mind, like I said, we have 0.25 space, so you don't want to have it here because that means that when they cut it, that's gonna, if they decide to cut it, it's gonna cut off your logo. So I'm gonna put my Radio Facts logo here, considering all the space, 0.25, I'm gonna drag it right about there. Okay, so that, that's enough space on all sides. Just being considerate of that. Then I wanna go into elements. Or let's say, if you're looking for something, I already see what I'm going to use, but I'm going to go into uh, photos. I'm going to, if I typed in smiling woman, I'm going to get a bunch of pictures like this. And since it's already here, I'm just going to go ahead and add it. Now, generally with a magazine cover, it has to be at least this length. Otherwise, it's going to interrupt uh, all your other items on the cover. So that's, this is actually the perfect length, right? So I really don't want that background. So I'm going to click edit photo. And then BG remover, which removes the background. Now, the first thing I notice is, is that this does not look like a cover. So I'm going to fix that. And when I say it doesn't like the cover, it's like the, the image itself needs to be tightened up to look a little more professional. So I'm going to edit it. Click edit photo. I'm going to click adjust. I'm going to make it brighter. Right about there. Okay. And then I'm going to sharpen it just a bit. So that totally makes it look more professional. So that's the first part of our cover. Second thing is I want to create uh, a background. Even though I do like the white background, it's, it's very basic. We want something else. So let's do a coffee shop. You want to click on photos down here, of course. So coffee shop. Blurred. Okay, we got all these options. I kind of like this one. Let's click on that twice. I could have clicked it once, I guess, because it came up a bunch of times. All right, so we're going to blow that up to fit the entire picture. Then I'm going to click on it, hit layer, and I'm going to send it to back. 
And there you have it. What do you think? I kind of like it. Okay, so I'm going to highlight everything here, and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing this in a minute, but I'm going to lock all this, what we've created so far. I'm going to group it, because as you keep adding elements, um, you may have a situation where things start floating all over the place. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but you want to, um, like if I move this right now, this everything should move. Nope. It is grouped, but now it's just, it looks like just her image. So I messed up on that. Just her image and the um, front is. So I'm going to go way over in this corner, come back down again. I still don't see the background there. The background is the biggest picture. So I'm going to hit my shift key. I'm going to select the background and then I'm going to do group again. Now it should be working. So if I move, yeah, there it is. So everything's moving. All right, so we put it here, right back where it was. When I add my first text, so I'm going to hit text, add a subheading, um, live your best life. I'm going to do live. Generally on the cover, you want to do all caps. That's Grammarly interrupting what I'm trying to do, which drives me nuts sometimes. Live. Next line, your. I'm going to make it all caps. Now, this is not a rule. You don't have to make it all caps, but if you're trying to make a point, it's a good idea. Your. Now, in this situation, it's probably best that I don't use all caps. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to go do it again. I'm going to do live your. best and then life. I'm going to show you why I did that in a second. Now I'm going to highlight everything in here except the Y which we don't need and I'm going to make it smaller let's go I'm just going to do it to maybe 80 still too big let's go 60 they also have the buttons here where you can just keep going up and down till you find what's right. Then I'm going to bring this over here. They're still too big, but I'm going to bring it over there. I'm going to bring the letters closer together. So you click on this spacing and then you go bring it in like that. Okay, that's pretty good. Still too big, so we're going to go down to about 55. Well, let's try 50. Okay. Then we're going to take out best. We're going to turn live your life white. And then we're going to add best separately. I didn't mean to duplicate it. I'm not sure why that happened. So we're going to add there. We're going to capitalize best. This is why I made everything else. Uh, I didn't use catch for the whole thing because we're going to do that for best. All right, at this point, we want to make best stand out. That's too big. So we want to change the font for that. Canvas Sans is actually a pretty good font, you know, for basic uh, editing. But I want to make a point. So when I say best, let me see what I can find in cursive. Nope, something bold. It's not bad, but it's a little too cartoony. Uh, we're going to leave this for now. So we're going to use this. Then we're going to change this to yellow so that it really stands out. Highlight the whole thing and then go here. Change it to yellow. We have a little space to bring that over before we interrupt that point 25. So we're going to bring that right about there, bring it down a couple of notches so it's in the kind of in the middle. 
and then we're going to group this. So the best way to do that is to highlight that and hit your shift key. Highlight that. There it is. Hit your shift key, highlight that, group, and now it should all move together, and it does. Okay, we'll keep that there. It should still move separately as well, but that's just, like I said, if you want to make changes. So now I want to add a background to that. So I'm going to click this because I want, I want another color. Now I can't, certainly cannot use this orange because it totally clashes with her shirt or her blouse, I should say. Uh, so I'm going to change this to black by clicking this and then going to black. You see how that makes it pop, but we want to give it some transparency because it's almost too strong. So I'm going to make it a little more transparent by clicking these three dots and then clicking this box. Bring it down a bit, right about there. Okay, that's perfect, all right? Then we want to add some more text. So let's say, uh, you hit, click the text box, add a subheading. Uh, Mary Smith talks about her new book in this issue. Now you couldn't see what you were typing. You, sometimes you have to just drag it you know, around. Uh, you're gonna make corrections on it, so you can just go ahead and type what you think it, it's supposed to say, and then you may still have to make corrections. So here, the first thing I wanna do is I want to bring that closer together. So I'm gonna click the line spacing. Right there, that's fine. Bring this about here. It's still too big, so I'm gonna take it down to about 27. I want it to hug the left-hand side, so I do that. Click on this button here. This changes the alignment. Okay, I'm gonna change that to white. Then, as you can see, there's an issue here. If I leave it here, it's really interfering with the creases in her blouse. So I'm going to bring this up actually, and I'm going to stre uh, stretch it out. So she talks about her new book. Okay. And then there's still some interference, but I'm gonna show you a way to get around that. So we can leave that there. Now, if you're looking at this as a cover, the first thing you think is that's not, it's not popping enough. So I'm going to click on effects and I'm going to give it a shadow. Now in the shadow, you see it's the color of its white. That's not what we want. We want black. And your best friend here is going to be your offset. Notice how, I'm gonna blow this up a bit. It's a little too much. Notice how when I do, when I go to the edge, it, it gives it a, a nice shadow that makes it pop out, or you can definitely read it. You may wanna blur it a bit because you don't want it to look like it has a shadow. You actually don't want it to look that way, so. But that's fine, so we'll, we'll do blur. You can just play with these buttons and determine what you want. Okay, so that's done. Now I want to add two other pictures because we, we, we want to feature two other people in this, this issue. So I'm gonna click on elements and then I'm going to look for these frames. They all look the same. They have the cloud on top and then they have the um, sky tones, the blue, and then the landscaping on the bottom. I'm going to click see all. I want these pictures to be circles, but you have all these different frames that you can use. Even alphabet. But for this particular situation, I'm going to use circles. So we're going to go back to the top. I'm going to click it twice. No, you know what? Let's click it once. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you why I just did that. 
bring it down to right about there. Bring it down further, still too big. Okay. Maybe a little more, but still too big. Right about there. And I'm going to add someone's face in here. So I'm going to look for photos and headshot. You can come up with anything you want to fill that in. You're doing it for a friend or a family member. Or you're just having fun. You can put anything uh, in those pictures. You, you put your own pictures in there. And it works just as fine, but just as well. So for this one, I'm going to use her. And click on it. Now, th this is the reason why I grouped everything. Because sometimes when you move this around, this new picture... It can screw everything up. It can replace the background picture. It, it just, it can make you have to start from scratch. And that's the other thing. I would definitely click file and save. Uh, maybe every 10 minutes um, because I haven't, there's probably an auto saving Canva. I haven't figured it out yet or I haven't tried, but I would just do that just for the heck of it. You're going to bring her picture down to that circle. And as you can see, her picture goes inside the circle, but it's not quite big enough. So I'm going to click the picture twice. Then I'm going to stretch it out and I'm going to move it over. And let's see how that looks. That looks better. Okay. Then I want to add a background. So let's say I want to add a frame. So I'm going to say circle. Let's do this one. Bring it all the way down. And I want this to go behind her. So there's a situation I have to do here. Once again, as you keep adding la layers, that's why you want to group certain things so that you don't have to, uh, you won't make the mistake of having things replace other things. So that you're putting on the page. So I'm going to uh, tap on her picture, hit my right, uh, the right mouse, hit layer, bring to front. We're just going to put this circle behind her. It's a little big, so I'm going to bring it down a bit. A little bit more. Then this is where I, sometimes you have to use your up, down, left, right keys on your keyboard. That comes in. It definitely helps because sometimes the uh, the mouse or you dragging it, it's just not going to work. It's not going to be as precise. I'm going to change that color. Oh, look, I picked the wrong box. You can't change the color. So we're going to have to delete that. Let's get a box whose color we can change. So circle, frame. That's the first thing I should have checked, but I didn't. Uh, 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 uh. Just going to type in circle. Okay. And then I should be on elements. That's the other thing I'm doing wrong. Photos, you can't change the colors. You can just get rid of the background. So I, that was a mistake I made. You want to click on elements. And we're going to get out of this. And then I'm going to type in circle. So elements definitely give you more room to play with. And that does look like where I got it from. But let's click on it again. Now this is weird because this one you can change the color. So that's strange. All right, so anyway, we're just going to add like that didn't happen. <laughs> so we're going to bring this over here. We're going to click on her picture once again. We're going to click on layer and then bring to front. Take the circle, bring it down over her. We're going to shrink it. Okay, and as you get into designing, you can come up with a whole bunch of different things, uh, tips and tricks to make your design pop and stand out. It's up to you. Uh, you can definitely be very creative with this. Now I'm going to change this color. I'm going to change it to yellow. Okay. What do you think? You like that? I like that better than it being on top. But it needs to be just a little bit bigger. And if you have a, an eye for design... You could spend hours doing this, literally. So I'm going to bring that right about there. Now, the one thing I don't like 
about this is for some reason it's not standing out enough. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to change the color again. Uh, let's change it to blue. No. I don't know. It's like, I guess because her head is so... It's at the top of the picture. So it's not quite... I'm going to use purple. It's not quite... Uh, Oh, I like that better. I'll use pink. It's not of uh, it, it's it's flushing a little too well. So you it it looks like it's part of the picture instead of something else. Um, so now I'm going to click on her picture and click on the background, and I'm going to duplicate it. So just by clicking on those two, I can just click that. I'm going to bring that here, right about there. But I'm going to put someone else's picture in there. So now we go back to photos, type headshot. Hmm, let's see. Let's put her in here. So there she is. Now she, her head is not big enough in there. So like I said, we want to click it twice, stretch it out a bit, it should at least be somewhat even with a picture above it then I just click on the outside there you have it now I can change the color of her box let's try her with yellow I think it stands out let me leave that okay now let's see what else can we add here um for live your best life let's add a flower Let's say I'd like a dandelion, maybe. I'm not getting it here. Well, yes, I am. There's a dandelion right there. Click on it. Okay. Bring it down. It's way too big. Maybe. Put it there. It's kind of interfering with life, so maybe... A little bit lower, maybe a little bit more to the center. Kind of like that. What do you think? Maybe it's a little too big. Let's bring it down just a bit. Okay. Now it's too small. So for now, I'm just like I said, I'm just giving you some tips. We're going to leave it big like that. Okay. So that's that. I'm just telling me to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. What do you think? I like it. And then it matches the yellow here. All right. So now we got this title here. Now let's say. Right there. Let's say this is our anniversary issue. Now first I can look in elements and see if anything says anniversary. And there are some things here. This may be um, the top one. It's uh, in cursive. It may be hard to read. We can try it though. Let's see this one. Uh, yeah, that's too much. Let's see what else we have here. Can we separate this? No. It's one picture. So I really don't see anything that I can use. So I'm going to have to type it out. Nope. So I'm going to click on text and just put something like 10th anniversary issue. So 10th, and then an exclamation point. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Well, I thought it, it didn't, thank God. So 10th anniversary issue. I thought it was going to fold inside of that picture, but it didn't do it. So I can bring that here. 
It doesn't have to be that big. We can make it smaller. And make it flush with the rest of the text. Maybe make a different, use a different font, something a bit stronger. So click here for the font and I'm going to type in bold. Okay. Is that good? Let me see. 23. I have to make it bigger. That's pretty good, actually. Just for, you know, giving you a lesson sake. So 10th anniversary issue. Okay. Perfect. We'll leave that there. And then these are features. So you, I guess we may have to figure out a way to, uh, well, even with this limited space, to indicate what this is about. So I'm going to put plus. I'm not going to say features is too long of a word for this. I'm going to put plus dot dot dot. Bring it down. Uh, put it on. Let's see what happens if I put it on top of her hair. I change the background to white. Maybe make it cursive. Ah, that's perfect. All right, because we don't want it to be too strong because it's already in her hair. So maybe just like that, or right on top of it. Plus, okay. Now, what else can we do here? I would say we can change this low. Uh, it's actually not bad, but let's see if we can come up with something else. We may have to change it back. So I'm going to click it twice. I want to do, I'm going to hit adjust. I'm sorry, I'm going to hit edit photo. I'm going to try to remove the background first. Edit photo, remove background. Okay, there you have it. Well, let's see if, if I change that to a lighter color. So I will go to FX effects, FX effects. That's kind of weird. It's all the same thing. I'm saying the same thing twice. Then I'm going to click on that and I want to make it brighter. So let me click this and see if this works. Now, will that stay? Let's see. Nope. Sometimes this happens in Canva. So let's try it again. Edit. Dual tone. Why is it showing blurry like that? Okay, I'm going to hit save while that's like that and see what happens. Try to go back. Oh, that worked. Okay, so there's a hint. So when, once you do it, hit save because sometimes it'll... It'll save and other times it won't. So we can actually make it bigger now because see how much more space we have without the white background. So let's make it bigger. I'm going to ungroup all this because I'm pretty much done with uh, the design. And if it's grouped, you can't really resize it because it's already this, you know, one size. Everything is one size. So we have about this much room. Actually, even a little bit more because it's got to be 0.25 on all sides, right? So now we want to make sure that because it can't see the logo because our hair is covering it, we want to make sure we replicate that. So I'm going to hit add a subheading um, and I'm going to put uh, radiofacts.com. There. Put that in white. Select it all. Let's do white. And then we're going to bring that down. It's way too big. Uh, put it there. Now here's another situation where we definitely need a shadow because it's it's not camouflaging well with what's behind it. Definitely want to line that up right underneath the logo. I'm going to 
click on it and then I'm going to where's the edit button this is strange let's hit effects I'm sorry effects go to shadow once again you want to change this box the color box to black see how it brought it out some then we want to um, offset it a bit right about there Now we could make that easier by changing it to yellow, but I think that's going to be overkill. That's good. But I'm going to show you what happens if we do that anyway. Let's say we change that to yellow. Now, I'm not sure. This is the first time I've done this. I'm not sure if I'm not getting the color change because there's a shadow on it. So let me go back to none. Let's see if I can change the color now. This is really weird. No, there's no color. I can't change the color. Very rare. Oh, that's what am I thinking? There's the A right there. Because I, I was looking for the bar. <laughs> But we want to go, let's see, yellow. Hmm, not quite strong enough, so we want to stick with white. And then we want to go back, like I said, and just do the uh, shadow. I'll set it a bit. I want to change this to black. You have to play with these buttons until you get what you want. But I definitely would suggest expanding the image so you can see what you're doing. Okay, that's fine. Then I want to put the date and the issue. So I can just duplicate this. Bring it right there. And then let's say June. Uh, June 2023. You can also put the volume and everything else, but I generally just put the month. Okay. That can even be a little bit smaller. Okay, let's send it back and see what it looks like. Now, the reason why I duplicated it is because I didn't feel like going through the whole process of, um, you know, doing the background and everything else on it again. Now, if I want that to stand out a bit, I mean, just to kind of give it, once again, make it pop a little, I can add another element. Let's say another circular box or something with a frame on it uh, bring that right there and let's make that this might be a bit much but I'm just doing it just to see what it looks like blue let's see what it looks like I'm sure it's a bit much it is it's too much uh, maybe not maybe not I think it actually looks pretty good and there is your magazine cover um, if you don't like let's say for example the logo um, you want to make that even another color you can hit edit photo go back down here and always hit duo tone if it's two colors or you can just hit duo tone anyway I haven't tried it with just one color but I can probably change this several ways. That's too dark. 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 Too dark. So the best one. Uh, that's, that's kind of throwing everything off. The best one was the one we had. So we're going to keep that. Once again, I'm going to go to save. To make sure it doesn't go back to the original. And that is it. That is your magazine cover. I'm going to blow it up a little bit for you to see better. Let me know how you feel about this. If you like it, um, and if you want me to design anything else for you, let me know. And I will do it, and I'll show you some other tips and tricks. So you can leave the comments below, and 
appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks. Oh, please subscribe to the channel so I can show you more designs and interesting things on this channel. I love designing. I love, you know, giving tips and hacks and tricks and all the things that I learned. I want to share that with you. So, you know, feel free to absolutely subscribe to the channel so I can give you more. That's it. Thanks.